Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kessie Rigby. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to make this kinky straight side part wig. It's really easy and it's just um, beautiful. This is the hair I'm using. This is kinky straight hair. It came in like four packs. Um, four packs, two in a pack. I'm using two pack, so um, I'm just showing you how the hair looks like. And of course, I'll be using my wig cap and my thread and needle to make this wig. I have it on a head block, so let's just get started. So as usual, I start from the back, and from the back, I make sure I go one weft at a time. Like I always say, I don't want to, I don't want to exhaust my hair. So we're just going to start sewing from one end to the other end and also you notice that I like always take my hair upwards like I don't make it too close to each other because I don't want to ex exhaust um, so much hair at the back so take note of that. So I think what drew me to this hair, first of all, I'm moving to the next pack as you can see. So what drew me to this hair, this kinky straight, is because of the texture. I've been using it for myself and some of my students when they come for wig making class and it lasts long and the texture is just um, something that is easy to come through, it doesn't tangle. As much as others would so it's it's a kind of uh, air texture that I would always always want to make and it's really suitable for you know black girls you know So I'm just going to talk a little about wig making. I've been making wigs for like six years plus now, and I think it's really therapeutic for me. Um, I got this zigzag machine some time ago, but I just feel like um, you guys would prefer I I make wigs with by hand because I feel like you learn faster that way. When you watch me, you see how I sew. It makes you you follow the patterns, you know like religiously but i just want to ask you guys do you want me to like show you more how to make wigs with the zigzag machine or more hand stitches 
just tell me whatever you want i can i can i can do both but i think the hand dance teaching is so therapeutic for me like and it just well as i'm making it i begin to have new ideas <laughs> that's for me as i'm making the hair i begin to have new ideas of how i want to you know make the wig what are the new ways i can make that style or what are the new ways what are the ways i can make this particular style better and all that so i think i love that about wig making it makes me creative it gives me time to think and just like reminisce and just be creative while i'm working at the same time it just in me it gives me this me time that's what wig making does for me so you guys let me know when you're making wigs how do you feel how do you feel the void when you're alone making wigs what do you do what do you what do you think about okay so yes we're approaching the front of the wig and you guys just keep watching and you see how you know we get to the front and how we achieve the side part that we are trying to make today So right now we're moving to the front and we're going to start sewing from one end to the other end and I'm going to act like I'm trying to make a fringe but towards the end of this uh, week you're going to see how I'll convert that um, fringe look into a side part. So basically what I'm doing now is just um, starting the fringe and then um, I'm going to show you how to make uh, the pattern side kind of um, voluminous so that it doesn't show the cap.
so this is what I'm going to do I will cut um, some extra weft uh, about probably two to three inches about four of that and the reason I'm, I'll be doing that is because I want to use it to fill up the part where the pattern will be because if that part is not full enough by the time you create the pattern the cap is going to be showing so you want that part to be really full so that when you make the pattern it is completely closed and you won't be seeing the cap or seeing through the hair into the cap and all that so that's why I'm creating that so what I'll be using this extra web for is I'm going to place it directly on where I want the side pattern to be this is very important but if you don't need um, a side part if you are going for a fringe you don't need to do this so you can see I'm placing this where I'm going to be creating my side part so that that, that um, line is going to be fuller than usual so that's why I'm doing that So next we're just going to continue sewing round, um, just go round over and over and over again and make sure it's actually a circle. Okay so just watch me do that and then we'll come to the end of this week and I'll show you how to create your pattern.
so to create the pattern I will make my thread and needle um, you can see I'm making one and I've combed my hair you know everything is just like in the, to the front and to the back and now I've just uh, creating the pattern like separating the hair and ensuring that my pattern is exactly where I want it to be if you want it center part you're going to put it in the center if you want it side part you're going to focus on the side like I am doing right now So once you are sure your pattern is at the right part, you're going to use your, your needle and thread. You're going to put it through the cap all the way to the center and you're going to drag it. But don't drag it too much, just um, I'll say 60% because uh, this would make that part a bit shorter and it will go inward and it will definitely separate the other part of the hair from the other side so it's going to be obvious that that is where the pattern is located so that's why i would do that so but i wouldn't want you to drag it too much just just drag it a little and uh, next i'm going to begin to trim the bang on the side like the side bangs okay so you can just trim it or if you don't want to trim it just leave it the way it is but i'm going to be trimming mine So you can see this is the pattern I've created and what I'm going to be doing now, I'll be using my coiling iron to, you know, just give it that bang. But it's not necessary, at the end of the day I felt like I should have left it this way. But if you feel you have to just add your, you know, share butter and use your coiling iron to smoothen the edges. But you want to make sure your iron is very, very low, like just plug it for like 30 seconds and take it out okay so i would leave it at this part you can see that i did not like the way mine turned out but if you are cool with it fine but i would have left it the way it was earlier so i just want to thank you guys for watching my video if you have any questions please leave it in the description box and um, i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe i love you guys thank you for always watching okay bye bye